Okay, here I'm going to construct some truth tables for our compound statements number one and two. And I would encourage you one of two things. Either try to do these on your own and then check my results, or maybe watch example one and then see if you can do example two on your own. So to get started, I think, well, what statements do I need truth values for? Well, I see that we need not Q in there, right? We've got P or not Q. So I'm going to have my not Q column. Let me try to cover that up. So I'm going to eventually have a column for not Q. I need to have P or not Q. So there's the column for that. I need to have the negation of that statement. I also need to have not P. And then I need the final statement that I'm interested in. So I've got that as well. So I'm ultimately interested in this, basically this, this uh, very last column. I went ahead and filled in not Q and not P because I think those are relatively easy. We just take the opposite true values. So Q has the value 0, 1, 0, 1. We'll negate that and get 1, 0, 1, 0. Likewise, P has the values 0, 0, 1, 1. So that'll give us the values 1, 1, 0, 0. Again, recall that 0 denotes false, 1 denotes true. Okay, so I may use true and false, and I may also use 1s and zeros as I go through this. So I'm going to reference again my, my truth table. So we've got an OR statement. We've got P OR not Q. Recall an OR statement is true unless both, both of the uh, respective statements are false. So if I see two zeros, I'll get a zero. Otherwise, everything will be ones. Okay, so I've got P not Q. Well, one of those statements is true, so the OR statement will be true. Here I've got P and not Q both being false. Okay, so that'll be a false statement. Here P and not Q are both true, so the OR statement will be true. Here we have P being true, not Q being false. Again, that OR statement connecting them will be true. Okay, so the negation, now I'm just taking the negation of this, this column. Well, again, we just flip the truth values. So instead of 1, 0, 1, 1, we'll have 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so now we've got this implication. Um, we've got the negation of P or not Q, and we want to know if that implies not P. So again, for an implication, the only time our implication is false is if the first statement is true, but the second statement is false. <clears throat> So I'm basically looking for anywhere where I have a 1 and then a 0. Well, I don't see a 1 and then a 0 anywhere. So in this case, I'm going to have that this statement is true, 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 true. So this, uh, this statement, this compound statement, is going to be true for all values of P and Q. All righty. Um, Okay, so let's keep going here. Let's look at our next statement. Okay, so again, P implies Q. We said that that's only going to be false is if the first statement's true, but the second one is false. So here we'll have 1, 1, 0, 1. Now we're looking at the AND statement. So again, an AND statement, the only time an AND statement is true for an AND statement to be true, both of the other um, statements have to be true. Okay, so we're looking at the first column and the third column. So I'm looking for wherever they're both true. Well, the only place that happens is in the very bottom row. So that'll be true. Okay, first and third column, they're not both true, so that'll implication, or excuse me, the AND statement will be false. It'll be false, be false. And now, okay, I think we're almost there. The same thing, now I'm looking at my fourth column, and I want to know if that implies Q, so I want to look at the second column. So make sure you take it in the correct order. So again, for an implication, the only time it's false is if the first statement is true and the second one is false. So I'm looking for anywhere that my first statement is true, but the second one is false. Well, I don't see that anywhere. I see true implies true, so that's going to be true. I see false implies false, that's considered true. 
I see false implies true. Again, that's considered to be true. And likewise, I see false implies false. So that is also considered true. So, okay, I just kind of picked these two examples at random. Didn't expect this to happen. But it looks like um, both of these statements are going to be true for all truth values. And maybe think about this and think if that seems reasonable to you. And um, again, you know, some of these, sometimes these statements can be quite complicated and it's hard to reason them out. And that's why exactly we, we kind of go through this more systematic procedure. But okay, in my next example, my next video, I'm going to do examples three and four. Those will be a little quicker. And again, that's going to lead us to some new definitions and some new terminology.